Hi guys, this is Gail with Gail Southern Living. Uh, this is my May 2022 Shed Wars video. Today I will be transplanting tomatoes and pruning my squash leaves. These are some little volunteers that were in my squash bed and I'm going to transplant them over here in my in my tomato bed where they go, uh, where some other seeds have not come up. So I'm going to make use of the stakes that I have put out for tomatoes and I'm going to put these around the stakes. So hang out and see what I do. Okay, so today I'm going to be pruning my zucchini plant and uh, I want to do this to allow airflow. Also want to do this to make it easier for the pollinators to get in and pollinate. Now you see I have a plant here and a plant here. Uh, really that's too closely planted together but I think when I watered them the seed moved over because I did have them uh, spread out more and I need to do some weeding in this area as well and I just pulled up a volunteer tomato from this area so I'm going to set that to the side and I'm going to replant that in a different area so basically I don't want the leaves to overlap see how these two are overlapping right here that one and that one I'm going to cut that. Now I'm trying to remember when you pull the zucchini leaves out if you're supposed to let them stay in there to uh, get the soil ready for next year or pull them out. But just to err on the side of caution, I am going to go ahead and pull them out. So uh, these two leaves right here are overlapping. So I'm going to cut that little one right there. And this one right here. I don't see any actual fruit on the plant yet. It looks like it's it's trying and it's almost there. And I think if I work on pruning these and removing uh, the weeds from this area, I think that will help it a lot. Baby, out of the garden, please. Baby's trying to cross into the garden today. Uh, baby is my mom's cat and, uh, you know, we took over taking care of her because she moved, so. Anyway, I'm just out here working in the garden today trying to do some weeding and I said I need to stop and do a little pruning on my zucchini plants uh, just to see if I can get them to produce some fruit because that's like my favorite uh, thing to see of the year is my first zucchini. My second favorite would be to see my first tomato and my third favorite would be to see my first pepper. So that's that's my order. So everything seems to be doing well in the garden right now. It's kind of a cloudy day and I have a few seeds I need to replant of some things that aren't um, going so well. So I'm just going to throw some more seed in there. Uh, that's the benefit of having lots of seed. I did have volunteer tomatoes come up in here. As you see, this is an area I need to work on weeding on it. Uh, but that's what I'm trying to do today since it's not a hot day and it's nice outside. So I just wanted to give you a little advice. Uh, if you are new to planting zucchini or just doing your first garden this year, uh, definitely prune your zucchini. Now it's going to look terrible, but it's going to help to get the pollinators in there uh, so that they can, uh, you know, do the good stuff that they do. So... That is my, my tip for today. Okay, so today I did some transplanting. That big one there is a transplant. That little one was from seed. And then to the right there is a basil. And then here's some zinnias. All these, all of these are transplants from over there in the squash bed. That one on the left is from seed. These other three are transplants. All of these are transplants, but maybe one or two. And then most all of these are transplants, and those are my zinnias right there. I put some good flowers in here to pollinate all the tomatoes. Now these in the front are some uh, sunflowers that are growing. Uh, they are volunteers. They came up on their own. So as long as they didn't get in the way of what I was doing, I was going to leave them there. See, that one's kind of in between where I can sit down there and do weeding and 
uh, the things I need to do. So that is what I did today. Prune my squash and transplant tomatoes over to where they properly go. So now all the little signs I made are, uh, yeah, useless because some of those didn't come up, but these others come up on their own and they might come up later and I may have to do some weeding out. But anyway, this is what I have going on for tomatoes and zinnias right now and some basil. Uh, so you guys have a great day. Be blessed. Do something kind, guys. Mm -hmm.